Hello and welcome back. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Two and a Half Men 2003 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. John Cryer played the character Alan Harper in the TV series when he was 38 years old in 2003. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 59-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in New York City, New York. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Well, if I want your opinion, I'll ask one of the dozens of women you have meaningless casual sex with. Oh. I uh, uh, famously did not get along uh, uh, when we were shooting Pretty in Pink. Um, and Why? so he- I didn't know that. Why? Oh, well, uh, obviously it's not that famous. Then yeah. uh- Ashton Kutcher played the character Walden Schmidt. He was 25 years old when the TV series ran in 2003. Check it out. At 46 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's an inside joke. <laughs> For myself. Great. Is Ashton Kutcher an Eagle Scout? I am not an Eagle Scout. I am a Life Scout. I was very close to getting my Eagle, but I... Angus T. Jones played the character Jake Harper in the TV series when he was 10 years old in 2003. Here he is at a cool 31, chilling in Austin, Texas, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Teacher. Yeah, but I was being honest. And look where it got you. <laughs> oh. But I don't know who I'm really talking to, or, you know, I'm talking to a bunch of random people that I've never met before, but, you know, I have no comment, to say the least. I hear you, I hear you. Okay, no problem. Conchata Farrell played the character Berta in the TV series when she was 60 years old in 2003. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on October 12, 2020, she left us after a cardiac arrest at 77 in Sherman Oaks, California. We're really feeling the loss. Man, if I'd known you liked the wacky weed, I wouldn't have spent the last eight years getting baked under the deck. <laughs> you know, when I was on break. Berta made a pretty good life for herself, and uh, I think... Um, I think a- Ash. Well- Charlie Sheen played the character Charlie Harper. He was 38 years old when the TV series ran in 2003. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 59 year old soaking up the best of life right here in New York City, New York. I'm thinking. <laughs> Charlie. Who told you about that? Your brother. Oh, really? In our blueprint, in our in our DNA, I I I I I believe that we are the uh, the 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 sum total of, of of all of our experiences, good and. Holland Taylor played the character Evelyn Harper in the TV series when she was 60 years old in 2003. Here she is at a cool 81, chilling in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. Hey, Charlie, wait. What? Have you forgotten why you came here? You want forgiveness, right? Yes. Well... I pre- if I actually were to teach something, I had a great teacher of acting, Stella Adler, and I probably would teach acting. Mm-hmm. Uh, Have I you would... ever taught acting? Marin Hinkle played the character Judith Harper. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 58-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. <laughs> Ellen? Uh huh. They're huge Amy and Dan fans like we are, and they expected no less from them as to have something get so grounded in the end. Like Melanie Linsky played the character Rose. She was 26 years old when the TV series ran in 2003. Check it out. At 47 years old, 
She's rocking a fulfilling life, jam-packed with passions, right here in New Plymouth, New Zealand. If anybody knows. I understand last night was just one of those things. I have no expectations. Okay. Adam. And everybody was wondering, who's Adam, who's Adam? And I would pick up my phone and my group text with my best girlfriends. They're all, like, discussing it as though I'm not... Corny Thorne Smith played the character Lindsay McElroy in the TV series when she was 36 years old in 2003. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 57-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in San Francisco, California. People can't handle seeing their partner with someone else. You know what? I'm good. Besides, I've always wanted to sleep with Jeff. Wait, what? You heard me. What's your, like, top five beauty products that you can't live without? Always use them. Well, Crepe Race has a new uh, plumping overnight face treatment. Ryan Stiles played the character Dr. Herb Melnick in the TV series when he was 44 years old in 2003. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 65-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Seattle, Washington. Uh, money? <laughs> I was afraid you'd pick up on that. <laughs> you got kids? No. Ah, uh, well, that's a bl- Oh, live, not on the TV show. Mm, well, either way. The TV show that's I broke, did thing. you see, did you watch uh, the TV show? Yes. Did you see the time I broke the lights? April Bowlby played the character Candy in the TV series when she was 23 years old in 2003. Check it out, at 44 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life, jam-packed with passions, right here in Vallejo, California. Jake. Uh-huh. And you must be Jake's grandma. <laughs> um, but so most of the time, I feel like if you walked me through all the episodes, I would find so many memorable scenes because they're just... All right, let's chat. Who's your absolute favorite character from Two and a Half Men? Jump into the comments and spill the beans below this video. And as usual, show some love. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more and ding that notification bell to never miss my new stuff. I can't wait to cook up more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch, and stay tuned for more. See you all soon.